What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another one. For those that are new, welcome back to the Rubber Ducky Diesel YouTube channel. My name is Ray, um, and this is my automotive vlog. Um, today is actually uh, today's video. I the, the rest of you viewers, I don't really care. I love y'all. I thank you for the support. But today's today's video is all about my boys, my sons. Um, I've been at work. Uh, working a lot of weird hours and working a lot of weird locations. So I haven't been home. I haven't seen my kids in a, or, or my wife for that matter. Um, I haven't seen everybody in a few days. And uh, for those of you that remember a while back, my Blue Duramax that we lost in the fire, that was actually my oldest son, Bryce. That, that, was, that was his truck. He's not old enough to drive it yet, but, but that was his. So, I went and did a thing last night. I haven't seen my family, any of them, but I did go and buy my boys a new truck. Now, granted, they're four and two years old, so they don't have any, they don't have any use for it yet, but I do. It's, it's my new work truck. Um, it isn't diesel this time, it's gas. It is four-door, and uh, it is four-wheel drive, and I think the boys are, are really going to enjoy it. It's kind of... It's it's snowing out right now a little bit, and uh, anyway, I'm gonna. Well, it's an automotive vlog. It's I bought another shit box, and uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's go take a look at it. Let's check it out. It came free with rodents, so yeah, let's do this. Let's check it out. <laughs> That's right guys we got us a big booty we got that dual rear wheel uh this truck is a uh it's it's a 97 it's a 3500 uh 454 big block so we're not doing we're not doing the gas or we're doing the gas thing now and uh she's got a few corks nothing major i mean the biggest issue that i see so far is that the the tire's got a small leak on it slowly but we got that big block life this thing is badass it's it's got a it does have a bit of an exhaust leak that i've got to get tracked down which uh i'll start it up for you but it's not bad i like it uh for whatever stupid reason uh the previous owners not the guy that i bought it from um, but the previous owners did a uh, fender delete on it. I swear to God, I have no idea. So the plan is I'm either going to find another dually bed or I am going to um, put a flat bed on it. But she already, you know, being dual rear wheel, it's got the, the big suspension on there. It's already got goose rails and set up for a fifth wheel. Uh, all the electrical is right there, which is nice. I actually need to quit screwing around and I need to get Lola set up in the bed or uh, at least get it mounted up in the toolbox. But we do have a snow dog plow mount on the front. Um, all the wiring's there. I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm actually gonna. It's a four door long bed. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a plow on it or not. But I mean, it's there, so, you know, the right thing comes along. Eh, why not? My, my kids would love to have a shovel on their trucks. So, but anyway, let's, let's fire this thing up. That one.
Okay, every other time, this thing has started like a champ. So, I don't know what the hell that's about, but we'll dig into it. Not even sure how well you saw that. But anyway, that's it. I assume that, uh, you know, thankfully I have batteries uh, back downstairs at the house. So, not a big deal. But that's that's actually kind of a shock to me because every time that I've gone and looked at this thing, it's, it's fired up like a champ, done everything that it's supposed to. So, me. I'm not going to be upset by it, not even in the slightest. It, uh, it, she's sharp. I like it. I like the, I like the fact that there's still, uh, rocker panels and cab corners on it. You know, that they exist. A little bit going on down there. It's not terrible. It's starting to break through, but I can fix that. But I do have some new shocks I can put on the front. I got a steering stabilizer from the OBS build. Um, left over from the older style chassis, but we're gonna We're gonna work the shit out. We're gonna we're gonna get it taken care of. So um, I'm gonna go figure out a, a few more quirks with this thing, see what's going on with it, see if it's the starter that took a crap on it or or what's going on with it but um and then you know we'll take it for a drive get it cleaned up because it's it's been sitting for a while it it smells like a mouse nest but anyway there's the new vehicle guys it's gonna be uh just more of a daily than anything just a good work truck uh, especially for the winter time because we got to keep our bad girl out of the snow but there you guys go i hope you're as excited about this as i am um, buckaroo pudge i hope you guys like it um, daddy thought of you when he saw it uh, especially you ray so i love you guys both i'll see you soon to the rest of you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already take care thanks for following along we'll see you on the next one see it